Hi there, and uh, good morning from the woods. Uh, <laughs> in this video I would like to show you how to make bow drill fire. You will need a few items uh, before you can start. <laughs> uh, I like to have those ready made and of course you can go out in the woods and make all these items. But I believe that it's um, it's not far-fetched to say that uh, people back in the day they would have probably have brought their fire making kit with them. So let me bring the camera a little bit closer and I'll show you. You will need some dried grass or similar material. Um, and you will make, we shall make a, a uh, I call it a bird's nest and we'll get back to that. You will need a, um, uh, what what's this called in English? Well, a little stick like this. <clears throat> Uh, it could be longer, of course. Uh, it's gotten a little bit shorter because I've used it a lot. But uh, it could be like this, I guess. Yeah. You will need a uh, handle. Now, I don't remember remember all the names, all the English names for these items. Uh, but um, basically, something to hold this. Now, I made this by shaping the coin around a, uh, I think it's called a ballpoint hammer. But you can buy these ready-made handles here. Um, this, is, this one is called SC Rowan. I'll put a link to this in the video description. <clears throat> uh, it works the same way, like this. You will also need a uh, fireboard. I guess. A little bit longer than your foot, something like that. Could be smaller, uh, it doesn't really matter. Um, this one is made from Aspen. It's best to avoid the types of wood with a lot of resin. Um, softer woods uh, without resin seems to work best. And I don't know which kinds of wood are available in your area. But this is a, a, a piece of aspen that I split and shaped into, you know, a, a board like this. And you will need your bow. Now, it's not a bow like <laughs> that you used to shoot arrows with, of course. This is not flexible. I prefer to use non-flexible bows for my bow drill. As you can see, I have used this board several times, but I want to show you how to make these because uh, lots of people, they struggle with, with the part where you, <laughs> how do you make these, these notches here? So I'll show you. Now the first thing I need to do is to make a little dent around, I don't know, like this, <coughs> here's my thumb, and I'll start the dent here, okay? <coughs> what I'm trying to do now is to... <sighs> is to uh, make a dent that is... I don't know if dent is the right word, <coughs> you'll have to excuse my my language, <laughs> so to speak. Um, but I want to find a place here on the board where I can start using <clears throat> this one. Okay. Now I will start drilling into the board. A couple of words about the bow. I always hold two fingers or three fingers, normally two fingers, on the string. That way I can tighten it with my grip as I'm drilling. Because the string, this is paracode I believe, the string will, uh, will, as it warms up as you're using it, it will stretch a little bit. So then you can apply some pressure here and keep it tight. 
uh, but not too tight. Now, <clears throat> uh, let's see. <laughs> okay, you'll have to keep in mind which way this goes. Okay, now. <clears throat> If you can see, now, I'll just show you. <clears throat> now, if I'm drilling downwards like this, can you see that it's not, uh, it's not catching itself on the stick here, right? But if, if I had the string the other way around, and you'll normally be drilling with a downward motion, a little bit downward. If it was like this, and you're drilling in a downward motion, you can see that it's it's going to get tangled on the stick, sorry, the spindle. <laughs> yeah, that's what we call this, the spindle, okay. Now I'll get back to the details about the the way to do this and the technique and everything, but let me first just start drilling into the board a little bit and then we'll see <coughs> where the spindle is going to go. Okay, <clears throat> let's put this here. Now oh, it's just been raining, so uh, it's the ground is wet. Okay, <clears throat> now we will make a notch, triangular shaped notch. <clears throat> You see that? Let me. We'll make a notch here. <clears throat> now, people have different opinions about how to make this notch, but I find that it doesn't really matter that much as long as it's smooth in at the edges <clears throat> okay okay we have uh, made the notch here right through the board and we're going to spin the spindle here we're going to start drilling into the board and um, that's the exciting part <laughs> Uh, we need a leaf, and there are lots around, actually. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> like this. And we'll put this underneath, right? Underneath here. Now, I like to use a long bow. Um, I have long arms. <laughs> uh, and also, it, it makes the spindle go faster. Uh, if you have a very short bow, you'll have to do a lot of this. Now, use your leg to support and steady your hand. Uh, don't hold your hand out here, because it will be wobbly. But secure it with your leg, like this. Then it becomes a lot more steady. Because you, you should try to keep the handle in one place, in the same place, you know. Um, if it wobbles around, the spindle will slip out and you get frustrated, <laughs> like I did when I first learned this. Okay, so let's see if we can make an ember. <clears throat> Ha <laughs> ha
Now what we want is black color, not brown color. Um, and I like to have a big heap of <laughs> uh, of um, a big ember. <coughs> and I'm going to uh, <laughs> pause this because I need to put my other camera closer to give you a close-up. Okay, let's do that. <clears throat> Now, what you want is this little heaper to uh, give off quite a lot of smoke, like it is now. And there's no hurry when you have this going like this, because it's uh, coagulating in a way in there. <clears throat> So let's make the bird's nest. You'll have to excuse the camera work today. Hold on. Hi there. <laughs> I will. Uh, I will probably be looking at the screen at the side of the camera a little bit. But what you want to do now is to make a, a bird's nest. <clears throat> okay. So carefully we we dump this into the bird's nest. Right? Here it is. Okay. You know what? Uh, the ember was not big enough, or I think also the grass, since it's summer, it was difficult to find dried grass. Um, it's not entirely dry, this grass. So what I'll do is I'll do this again and, uh, and build up a bigger ember. And also I think the notch could go a little bit deeper into here. Now, there will be lots of people <laughs> in the comments section saying, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that, you know. But I find that in real life, you, you know, <laughs> it's, uh, that's, it's easy to say, you know. Um, but in real life, you just have to have this attitude that if you don't succeed the first time, you just try again. And uh, and that's okay, you know. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. That looks better. So, let's see. <clears throat> now, I want things to be real on this channel, and if, uh, you know, I've done this many times. Um, but if I don't succeed, uh, I'm going to tell you. And, uh, that way we can both learn, you know. Let's dump this into the... Oh. And now I dropped it. Let's see if we can save it. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, <clears throat> now we'll have to... We can't have a forest fire, can we? Okay, so, bow drill fire. <clears throat> and there is something about making fire using the bow drill or flint and steel when you're out hiking there's something special about that and uh, it feels you know it, you feel like you're back in the old times you know the viking age and before that of course and it gives you such a special feeling and it's just it's it's very difficult it's hard to describe but it's it's uh, it's wonderful <laughs> So that's my video for today. I just now discovered that someone has left a piece of uh, plastic on the ground right here. So I'll, uh, I'll bring this home. Um, the woods are fragile in a way. And we need to... We can't leave plastic lying around. But okay. <clears throat> I hope you enjoyed this video and if you are not already a subscriber to this channel then please consider subscribing um, and um, yeah, because it really helps the channel. I will be, uh, <laughs> in case you wonder, I will be making both the bushcraft type videos and also I will be commenting on the very strange situation that we are in currently 
with all the craziness going on. But it's good to, you know, to get out there, out there in the woods and uh, practice some bushcraft skills. I think it's not only useful, but very healthy for, for the mind and for your uh, mental health. Um, yeah, that's, I wanted to say that because it's, you know, I get a lot of messages from people who are struggling and uh, this is how you can make bow drill fire and I encourage you to try. It's, uh, it's great fun. Um, it can be difficult, but once you get into it, it's, uh, yeah, as I said, it's great fun. And uh, maybe it's not the most essential survival skill because your time would probably be better spent, you know, making a shelter and so on, if you're in a survival situation. Uh, but um, it's, if I didn't say so already, it's, uh, it's yet another way to, to make fire. And, uh, and uh, there's something about being able to make fire out of... Uh, two pieces of wood <laughs> yeah okay hope you enjoyed the video and have a wonderful day bye